There's a thing we have in these mighty islands of ours that's very special. It's the thing that we, the British, developed, that we own, and we've spread around the world. And it is, of course, free speech. Now, free speech is the most beautiful thing in the world, and if you don't like free speech, what I say to you is this. Shut the fuck up and fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> now, that may not be Winston Churchill, it may not be William Shakespeare, it'll do me. Because right? <laughs> free speech is precious. Free speech is valuable and it's clinging on by its fingernails in Britain right now. Right now, things have got to such a state where you can't go into a pub and say something that will definitely start a fight without people being offended. I mean, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> and you can't say anything anymore, can you? Well, I just, I just did. But you can't say anything... I've said it twice now. Fuck, yeah. <laughs> Quite hard to explain this. You can't say anything and fuck it three times. You can't. You can't. The point is, right? <laughs> free speech is brilliant because it reveals you for who you really are. That's the point of it. It's transparent. In this country, for instance, if we don't like a video on YouTube, we write sarky fucking comments on the comments page. But we don't burn fucking embassies down. We just crack on with flicking V's. <laughs> and we need free speech, and free speech needs us. But we're afraid of it these days. And so what I want to do for you now is I'm going to take you, as they say, to the edge. Now, I'm not a comedian, I am but a humble publican. And I'm certainly not one of those edgy lads you see nowadays who says spastic in the hope of winning a BAFTA. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> Knock it off, boys. Paralympics, change your mood, for fuck's sake. So... <laughs> what I want to do is take you people to the edge. And I'm going to say the unsayable. Now, of course, the thing about saying the unsayable is once you said it, it was said. <laughs> it wasn't unsayable, because you said it, right? But I'm going to say the unsayable, and I don't mean... I mean, actually something... <laughs> actually something no-one feels they can say in Great Britain right now. And I'm going to stick my neck out. I'm going to say something no-one dares say in this day and age. But it's about time we said it. Something you haven't been able to say in Great Britain for 35 years now. Something no one dares stick their head above the parapet and say the obvious fucking thing. Something that's eating away at our culture, destroying our way of life, making fools in every single man, woman and child in this country. Something we need to get to grips with before it's too late. And I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid of the consequences. I'm afraid to stand proud and say what needs saying. And it's this. Star Wars is shit! <laughs> <laughs> It's a kid's film, for Christ's sake! <laughs> You're adults, what's fucking wrong with you? It's for eight-year-olds, look how, look how bad it is. Look, look, the hero wants to sleep with his sister. The, the, the bad guy wears a black hat cos you're too fucking stupid to realise he's a bad guy. <laughs> Look at it, there's a dog that speaks English that can't be bothered to speak fucking English. <laughs> it's rubbish! <laughs> Grow up, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Yeah, that shocked you, isn't it? <laughs> no one else dares say that these days. That's the edgiest fucking thing you'll ever hear. 